So today, we're making a recipe for all you pasta lovers out there, myself included, that's super easy to make and has the most beautiful flavors ever. We're talking a creamy lemon and rosemary pasta. And let me tell you, when I say the most beautiful flavors ever, what I actually mean is a huge explosion of goodness, folks. We're talking very easy to make, made with very simple ingredients, and the best part, it comes together in just 20 minutes. Let's begin by filling a stock pot with some cold water. You wanna go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. At the same time, I'm gonna heat a large fry pan with a medium heat. We're not gonna add any fat into the pan right now. We're just gonna heat it while we gather our ingredients. That way once we start cooking the pasta, we can cook the cream sauce at the same time. That way both elements can come together at the same time. I'm gonna begin by finely chopping one shallot. You can also use a small onion here if you like. We'll roughly chop six cloves of garlic. For this recipe, you wanna have larger chunks of garlic as it gives the cream sauce a beautiful pop of garlic goodness. We'll remove the needles from two sprigs of rosemary and finely chop the needles. We wanna end up with about two tablespoons, which is four grams. You can substitute the fresh rosemary for half the amount of dried rosemary. And for the final ingredient, we'll finely grate half a cup of cheese, which is about 60 grams. I'm using a Spanish Manchego cheese that's been aged for three months, so it's got a beautiful flavor to it, but it easily melts. However, to make this recipe, you can use whatever cheese you like. Just once again, make sure that it easily melts. All right, let's move back to the stock pot. As you can see, the water's now at a boil, so it's time to add in the pasta. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using spaghetti, but you can use whatever pasta you like. I'm gonna grab 225 grams, which is about eight ounces, and add the spaghetti into the stock pot. And we'll mix the spaghetti around, that way it's all coated in the water, and we're gonna cook it until it's perfectly cooked al dente, which is about 10 minutes in my case. So make sure to check the package instructions in the pasta that you're using. At the same time, let's start making the cream sauce, that way once again, both elements can come together at the same time. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into the hot pan that we have heating, which is about 30 milliliters. And we'll immediately add in the chopped shallot and garlic. And it's very important to mix this continuously, that way the ingredients don't brown and they all evenly saute. After about one minute, and the shallot is lightly browned and the garlic is nice and fragrant, I'm gonna add in one and a half tablespoons of all-purpose flour, which is about 14 grams. And we'll continue to mix this together and we're gonna go for about one to two minutes on the flour. This is enough time to cook off the flavor in the flour. That way later on, it doesn't overpower the sauce. Then we'll add in three quarters of a cup of milk, which is 175 milliliters. I'm using low fat milk, but you can also use full fat, non-fat, or even plant-based milk along with three quarters of a cup of vegetable broth, which once again is 175 milliliters. The one that I'm using is homemade. You'll find a link on how to make it in the iCard above. We'll also squeeze in one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, which is 15 milliliters. I always like to have a sieve underneath when I'm doing this, just in case any seeds fall out. And the chopped rosemary. And we'll continue to mix this together until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce, which takes about four to five minutes. After about five minutes, and we've ended up with a beautiful light creamy sauce. And I tell you, you can always tell when you have the perfect texture. You just run your spoon or spatula through the sauce. And if you can see the bottom of the pan, you've got the perfect texture. For the final step, I'm gonna season it with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it one final mix, that way those seasonings are evenly distributed, and then turn off the heat in the sauce. Okay, let's move back to the spaghetti. It's been cooking for exactly 10 minutes, so in my case, it's perfectly cooked al dente. At this point, I'm gonna start transferring the spaghetti directly from the stock pot into the pan with the sauce, and you wanna try and shake off as much of the water as possible. But let me tell you, if a little bit of that starchy water gets in there, it's no big deal. It's actually gonna ensure that your sauce doesn't dry up. 
and we'll give it a mix until all the spaghetti is coated in that beautiful creamy sauce. Then we'll remove the pan from the stove top, add in the half cup of finely grated cheese, and give it one final mix. That way that cheese can incorporate into the pasta dish. And let me tell you, you wanna add in the cheese all the way at the end. If you add it in the too soon, the fats are gonna start separating and you're not gonna end up with that beautiful creamy texture. Then we'll transfer some of the spaghetti into a serving dish. And we'll top it off with some lemon zest, making sure to not add any of the white pith as it adds a bitter flavor. Check it out, our creamy lemon and rosemary pasta is done. Easy to make, came together in just 20 minutes and one of those dishes that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Like I told you at the beginning, this is a pasta lover's dream. It looks absolutely delicious. Here we go. That was a big bite. I'm telling you, the combination of that lemon with the rosemary, it is a marriage made in heaven. And then that beautiful cream sauce takes it to the next level. You saw this easy to make, super basic ingredients. Serve this pasta next to a garden salad, a crunchy baguette, and of course a bottle of Spanish wine. You're gonna have yourself one heck of an amazing meal. Really quick before I go, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Aravinda Garimeya, Robert Manahan, Linda Bufano, Hollis Helmichi, and Sam Cohen. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And of course, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.